I've spent the last couple of years pretending to be a great sewer and it's something I've always wanted to learn. So I was really excited to work with Skillshare, the largest online learning community for creatives that features thousands of classes, expert teachers, and members like me who can come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare had lots of lessons to choose from, from the basics all the way up to more complex projects. I wasn't expecting to have so many teachers and specific classes to choose from, and I found a class by Kim Dave on how to sew and pattern a shirt from scratch, which was perfect because that's exactly what I wanted to learn. I love that it's on demand, so I can watch lessons when I have time, in between working and snuggling chili, of course. The on demand feature also means that I can rewatch clips as many times as I need. And look, I made a shirt. Might be a little lopsided in places. I'm not gonna show you the inside. It's a little bit messier than uh, maybe I would have liked, but in the end, I made the shirt and I was able to follow the class really easily and I had a lot of fun watching it as well. And Skillshare has really encouraged me to keep pursuing this passion of mine that I didn't even really know I have. And maybe one day, who knows, I'll actually be able to make Jeremy that custom suit after all. There are a lot of other topics I'm excited to learn about too. Animation, graphic design, um, entrepreneurship, since running my own business is very new for me, that's really exciting and important, as well as UI and UX design and web development. So whether you're looking to do a fun crafting project or if you're looking to launch a creative business, Skillshare has the classes you need to take yourself from beginner to pro alongside a very supportive community. Skillshare is giving viewers of this channel a one month free trial by clicking the link in the description below. The first 1,000 people to click that link will get the free trial for one month and it's a great way to just try something new, push yourself out of your comfort zone, and who knows, maybe you can also have a shirt. Now relax and enjoy the video. Hi Jeremy. Hi. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Uh, we're going to be getting another jacket fitted for you, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And so. Tell me a little bit about this. You said it was uh, your your father's and you were trying to get it fitted for yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be really nice. A nice way to like pass down that generational um, wear, which is very common with suits. And then we also have um, one of the jackets that we've already made for you that we custom fitted to you that we'll have you just try on for any last minute tweaks or adjustments, okay? Sounds good. And um, let's start out with the uh, jacket that you want to get uh, fitted this time. And I'll be doing some pretty meticulous markings and things like that on the jacket. Um, everything I'm using, I won't leave any permanent marks or damage. It'll just help us get the absolute perfect fit. Um, so go ahead and I'm just going to pull up your measurements from last time. Okay. So it looks like that was not too long ago. Everything should be up to date. So we'll just do the fitting today. And we have the new jacket. Checking the material here. It looks like it's a linen exterior woven and then a silk interior. Okay, we do have two pockets in the front and no darting in the back. It's a straight bottom so if you would like to just put that on for me thank you I'll just make some notes on what I'm seeing initially I want to get it to fit absolutely perfect so I can already tell that it's a little bit wide there and it's okay in the shoulders, a little bit big in the arms, a little bit long here. Would you turn around for me, please? Thank you. Again, a little bit long in the back. The neckline looks okay. Some extra fabric here. It's a little bit tight in the shoulders, actually. I think we should extend that a little. All right. As long as I have you turned around, I will start on this side. So you can just stay there for me, please. We'll start with the lower back portion and I'll have you sit to take the top measurements. I just wanna see the, pers the different um, portion sizes here. So it's more about 
perspective between the two versus the length itself. So we have a pretty short collar here. I think we might want to extend that just a little bit for the neck. Get the seam allowances as well. Will help us determine how much room we have to work with. So Jeremy, I'm just going to be making several marks here as well as putting some pins in. So you might feel some slight pressure. Um, I think we're going to wind up adding just a couple of um, really almost unnoticeable darts here to make it a little bit more fitted to your waist versus the shoulders. Adjusting the posture here to make sure we're getting it absolutely perfect. And in the past, we've made suits quite fitted for you. Is that still how you prefer to wear them? Mm -hmm. Great. I'm just going to get along the bottom here. to think right about here. Just making a mark with a little bit of fabric pencil will come right off when we do the pressing and cleaning. Here, Jeremy. So I just want to very carefully have you step back. I'm going to place a seat here for you. So just step back and take a seat right here facing away from me. Thank you so much. And just be careful of the pins. No poking, right? No. Good. I've got that on this side here. Probably do a little less on this side.
good there. I'm just going to pay attention to the shoulders now here. Checking for symmetry side to side to see if we can just pin one or if we have to do both. And I think we have to do both. So that actually we need to add a little bit here. Let's say about half an inch. Same thing here, maybe three quarters of an inch on this side. Not as much. I'll take out the arms here, just right there. Let your arm hang for me. I'm going to take a picture of this side and make a few markings so I can remove the pins without you getting hurt. Just make some markings and I'll remove the pins on that side and I'll have you turn around. I'm going to make sure there's no pins left here. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me, Jeremy. Turn around. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so starting down here at the bottom, start with the so I think just actually half an inch it's not very much are you and your dad a similar height uh, yeah okay so that makes sense because the style was a little longer um, in these 80s and 90s that was just more of the look to have a, a less fitted a less um, cropped suit so uh, but the length in general on the arms actually looks pretty good
As I recall, you like your cuffs relatively fitted as well. Is anything poking you right now? No. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that for just a second. Take one step towards me. I'm gonna work on the other side. I'm just moving you slightly here. side to side here. Make those same photographs and markings here. Again, just marking the two sides so I know where those pins were, and then I'm going to remove them for safety purposes. And I'm gonna have you sit down once again, just facing this way. And Jeremy just wants you to have a seat right there. Is that okay? Okay, I'm just gonna take a look at the front. So So it's not actually too bad here. Especially when sitting, we want it to be comfortable, so. Just taking it in about here on the front. Same thing there. Otherwise, I think it's okay actually. And then pocket square needs to come in a bit. just hit the middle of the body here. So I think it needs to come back just a smidge. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Jeremy, I'm going to just mark this here. I'll remove that. And let's have you remove the jacket for me, please. Thank you. Let me just have a seat for one moment. I'm gonna be doing 
just a couple of measurements on the jacket itself since we have your measurements. And how do you feel about the current button placement? So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, and they're spaced approximately nine centimeters apart. I think that's consistent all the way down. The top one about nine centimeters, then about 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters and 12 centimeters. So uh, that's typical for the top button to be slightly um, closer to the second button here, but do you have any preference? Would you prefer to have less, more, um, move them in any way? Um, no, I think I like that. You like them? Okay. And do you like this um, style of button? Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Could possibly show you some other options. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I'll have you try on now the um, the wool suit that we designed specifically for you. And if there's any imperfections, I wanna make sure it's absolutely fitting you in every single way. Um, we'll make a note of that, but we'll see how it looks on you. So you can, you can take a feel. We went with a wool blend. Um, it's very soft, extremely soft, very durable. Um, pretty warm, but it has a lot of breathability as well. Though we did line the inside um, both with a silk for the base here and then inside the arms is uh, just a cotton blend as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's much softer for the arms. Um, and in general, um, we went with everything we spoke about, which was a slightly shorter collar, um, pretty fitted, and uh, just a few buttons here on the end, as well as space for a pocket square should you decide to go with one of the ones we looked at. Um, so if you want to stand up, I'll push this chair back and you can give this one a try and see how we did. There you go. And just turn towards the front. I'm just going to place it on you. And that looks actually like it fits you very well. How does it feel? Feels good. Okay. Just going to just do the top one here. Placing it, adjusting the collar here. I'm just going to be looking for anything that I want to change or adjust. I'm pretty happy with it. I think we could if we were being, um, could you just go up like this? I just wanna see. So the only thing is that the cuffs are a little wide. I think we could um, just take that in just a smidge. It's perfect right here. It's perfect in the um, upper arm and the elbow, just a little bit wide in the cuffs itself if you're going for that absolute perfect slim fit. And I also think I want to move the pocket square down just two centimeters, maybe not even that much. Just one centimeter, one and a half centimeters maybe. Move the pocket square down just so it has a little bit more room to breathe and it hits you just about here on the chest. Everything else feels good? Mm -hmm. Can you turn around for me please? just making sure it's absolutely perfect. Hits you at a really nice place, very flattering. Again, just um, sort of move around a little bit like you would be walking or something like that. Nothing bunching up or uncomfortable. 
Okay. All right, Jeremy, you can remove this jacket for me. I think the only thing I wanted to change about this is to um, taper in those um, wrist areas a little bit and move that pocket square just about an inch. So feel free to have a seat again. I'm just going to go through everything we've talked about today. So on this jacket, we're going to mostly focus on taking it in, in the sides and in the arms. So we made quite a few markings for that, as well as shortening it relatively good amount, maybe three, four inches even. Um, but we'll take a look specifically. The inside is fine. Pocket square actually hits you in a good place. We just want to um, taper it in a little bit. It's just a little bit too wide. And then on the back, again, just taking it in. Um, probably we'll try our best to taper just through that middle seam, um, but we may have to put in a, a dart or two. I try not to make them very noticeable since I think that it's not traditional in menswear, um, but we want it to fit well first and foremost. I think we can manage most of it just using the existing seams that we already have. Okay. Um, so I think I can get this to you in about two and a half weeks. Does that work? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Jeremy, it's always nice to see you. Love getting to work with you. Um, any questions for me? No, not right now. All right. So we will see you in about two and a half weeks to pick up the um, altered suit here, and then I'll make those few alterations on the custom jacket as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.